Hi, this is Michael Van Horn, The Social Chef. With me today, I got a special guest, a really, really good friend of mine, Rick Iacona. And Rick and I have known each other. Um, I moved here in 2006. How long have we known him now? Oh, it's got to be about four or five years. About four or five years. He's a really good friend. We met at a social event. Social event. No, no, no. Like that, social. <laughs> uh, and we belong to the same church. Both belong to Christ Fellowship. We volunteer together on occasion, and, actually, and the, uh, you still do it much more so than I do. Right, in the cafe, of all places, and with food and the coffee. So. And you're helping to launch the new campus. The new here campus in is going to be launching in, in Boynton Beach. Uh, That's awesome. Yeah, we're, uh, we're, we're going to be really in the Boynton cool. Beach Mall very, very soon. So yeah. We're really looking forward to it. Most uh, people go in to buy something from Dillard's. Yeah. We're buying Dillard's. We're, we're, <laughs> we're actually buying, buying Dillard's. Dillard's. We really are. You know, there's going to be a bookstore there. There's going to be a cafe during the week time. So no people kidding. will really be able to go in and out of there and buy stuff. It's going to be more of a Christian bookstore, coffee, like a, you know, like a coffee wow. place. And then during the weekends, of course, it'll be open for the church. So That's awesome. Looking forward to it. We're being part of that initial group and being, you know, really, really making things work. We're looking you know what my it. favorite saying is in our church? Is that... We're not here to talk about religion. It's about having a relationship. Excellent. With God. Excellent. And I think that's one of the greatest things about the, the church that we belong oh, to. Yeah. Absolutely. It's, it's mm -hmm. a, I like to call it too, it's like a come as you are church. I yeah. mean, it doesn't yeah. matter what color, what, what amount of tattoos you have, what, what you're wearing. You're coming there to have, like you said, a relationship with Jesus Christ. And it is just uh, the best. I mean, great, I, I, great place to be. That, I came down here and trying to find a church when I found that mm -hmm. was unbelievable. Yeah. I mean, the, the whole logo now that we go by Love On yes. is incredible. Because everybody that I've ever taken to that church Absolutely. has always said the exact same thing. is I've never felt so much love. Comfortable. It, and it, it, like I said before, you can hear all kinds of people you may be worshiping with, you know, and praising God with, and everybody blends together. Yeah. I've never seen that in a church before. Just everybody blends, no matter. I'm, I'm like waiting. One of these days, somebody next to me go, I don't want to sit next to you, you know, or something. I never see that. It's true. It's really awesome. Awesome place to be. Yep. So, so today, no, I, no. I, I, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I know you really want to get into this, okay? But I've been watching you on Facebook, okay? This social chef guy, okay? But... You made something, I believe it was a tiramisu, okay? <laughs> I, I'm, I, I'm like mouth-watering watching this on Facebook. I'm sorry, Michael, but I'm not doing anything else on this show till I get to taste a tiramisu. <laughs> like, and so right now, I'm on strike. I will not continue. Uh, yeah, I have some... <laughs> I'm not going to All right, all right. That's all I've been thinking some... about is the tiramisu. I do have some... You're lucky yeah, you have I some left. I can say, look, look what's left. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's it. That's enough for me. <laughs> look so, at that. Wow. There you go. Come on, oh. it's social. You can, uh, let me give you a knife. Oh, look at that. That, that. Exactly what I saw is I'm going to see. You know what? I, you I, I just take, I'm just going to take a little piece. Take all you want, no, man. No, no, no. That's all right. Oh. I don't want to spoil the uh, what we're going to be making here. Have at it. It's the that. best. Mm -mm. Let me see. Let me see. I make a mess. Mm. Mm. Looks like I'm going to. This is breakfast, lunch, and dinner for me. <laughs> mm. So, mm. We, we just hope you enjoy the moment. Mm. One more, one, one more. I, I, folks, I'm really sorry, but this, you have no idea. I, uh, <laughs> mm. Mm. Uh, no, I, I'm going to finish this in just a moment. Here, oh, you said you right there. Just put it back yeah. here. Yeah, no problem. Oh, no you. problem. Mm. Make so, sure you get some so I hope you like mahi mahi. Oh, I love it. I love All right, it. so we're going to make a Mediterranean mahi mahi today. Mm. I've got uh, some capers. If there's anything here you don't like, let me know. We got some capers. We're going to put in some uh, Mediterranean, the Kalamata olives, uh, artichoke hearts, a little wine, a yes, little yes. white wine, tomato, lemon. And uh, I gotta get some garlic, and we, uh, I got the fish in the fridge, I have it all clean, but we need to season it and everything, so I'll get that out, and um, we'll get started. How's that sound? Let's go. Oh, and I have a pasta salad that I made yesterday with oh. a smoky paprika and some shrimp, oh. so. I, I, I can't wait. I mean, if I, I, I can't even wait until it's all done. <laughs> oh, man, that's right. gonna be exciting. <laughs> Thanks, Michael. Are those all tomatoes about... real? I mean, that thing is so shiny. Yeah, yeah, it's... Yeah, it's... You know, I get everything over at, uh, I found a little local farm that I kind of 
Oh, which one? Prom no, don't promote, but I, I go there and I, uh, Bedner's. Oh, yeah, by 441. Unbelievable. Um, awesome. It's unbelievable. They, they do a lot with the community in there, too. So yeah. It's a great place. So what we'll do is we're going to take, um, we'll take the mahi-mahi first, and we're going to season it just a little bit with a little bit of salt and pepper okay. on both sides. And then I'm going to um, take all the other ingredients. We're going to put everything together in a bowl, mix everything up, and then we're going to put it laid in, uh, lay the fish in some tin foil. Okay. And we'll put the fish in the tin foil, and then we'll take all of this stuff, combine it, put it on top, seal it, stick it in the fridge just for about 15, 20 minutes, wow. and, and then we're going to bake it. Wow. And that, that's it. It's pretty. It's a pretty simple dish. Okay. So I hope you like it. I'm ready. All right. I'm ready. So I'm going to give you some duty. Okay. Um, don't worry about it. You can always wash your hands, but I'll give you a fork if you need that. So you can just come in here. Just take a little bit of salt. Just a little one. Yeah, back. just like that. Just sprinkle on both both pieces. That's it. And then take a. You know, I need to get you a little bit of um, pepper. I'll do this part. Am I allowed to make those expressions like that one guy from New Orleans does? Sure, okay. sure. Who, oh, you mean Emeril Lagasse? Yeah, yeah, okay. He's good. Bang! Okay, all right. <laughs> I got carried away. Keep right. going. All right. all right, so flip the fish. Okay, I'm flipping it. After we put the salt and the pepper on there. Yep. I guess we're going to do it again. again. We're going to do it again. Do some more. Yep. Okay. Perfect. Just a little bit more here. Yep. In here, Mr. Jeff. Awesome, you got it now. I think we're out of pepper there. I think I need a pepper mill. What do you think? I think so. Now that, that is interesting. You know, I love this little thing. This is this is a gift from uh, a friend of mine. Uh, gave it to me one year for I, I love pepper mills. Okay. As you can yes, I, as you can see, and I've got three more in awesome. the cabinet. So um, so I like that. So alright, so we can take this, we're going to drizzle, uh, well actually, you know what, we'll just set it over there for right now. Okay, terrific. We'll just set that over there for right now. As you're sharing with this, Michael, can you, how did you come up with this recipe? Where did you get it? You know, I just, it's just from uh, going out to dinner and eating at different places. Quite honestly, where I tasted something to the most similar to what I'm making mm -hmm. was um, in, I can't remember the name of the hotel, but it was in uh, Capri. In wow. Italy, wow! And yeah. there was a uh, there was a little Italian restaurant, obviously Italian restaurant. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, a little Italian restaurant, and uh, I, I they had the, this mahi. Well, it wasn't mahi mahi. It was a different. It was okay. a local fish. fish yeah. But I chose to use the uh, the mahi mahi. Very good. That's kind of what I arrived I at. Wonder what this true. Yeah. <clears throat> so all right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this. We're actually gonna use this bowl. Okay. Okay. So I'll make some room here. Here's your knife. All right. All right. Don't hurt yourself. Yeah. Don't hurt yourself. Okay. So we're going to take some olives, some Kalamata olives. You like Kalamata oh, olives? Oh, I love them. Oh, okay. They're very good. My hands are clean. All right. So we'll take uh, some olives. And what you're going to do is you're just going to slice them. Slice them in half? Yep. Uh, yeah. A little, little finer yep. than that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Just you want them like in, in You got it. Yep. Okay. Right. Yep. Just like that. Perfect. Looks Good like job. All right, and then just throw them in there. While you're doing that, mm -hmm. I'm going to get some capers out. We'll put a few. Uh, I think this came from a an airplane. <laughs> this little spoon. So we'll take a about equivalent to a tablespoon of. Um, Capers, maybe a little bit more. I love capers. Do you like capers? Oh, I love it. Good. Yeah. Everything you have here is a is a major favorite. All right. Of mine. Let's put some capers in there. Capers always adds a, an interesting touch to me. And we'll take about half a lemon. Squeeze that in there. And you can always add a little lemon zest too. Mm -hmm. You know. Yep. You get a little. You get yep. a little. Do you like to cook? Greater. You know what I about. 10 or 12 years ago, when I was uh, doing a lot of selling on the road, and I was home a lot, I used to uh, watch, uh, way before the, uh, the uh, Food Channel, there was, I think it was a Galloping Gourmet. And I used to watch, and I used to take notes, I'd buy books, and my wife would always be pretty excited when I got home, I was making everything from 
Eggs Benedict to different fish dishes, and I went out and got you know the, all the colorful dishes you can uh -huh, get. Uh -huh. You know, it's just it's about the presentation also. So uh, it's uh, you know if if you've been watching my food channel uh, here the the, the show show my friend Issa from Miami mm -hmm. she's a chef. Well, she is. You know, yeah. I am I'm just someone who has a passion to, to cook. She, on the other hand, is not only gourmet but her presentations. Wow, are incredible. I mean, she's. I always tease her when she's, when she's making something. I always say, "There she goes again yeah. with her paintbrush," because she's like an artist. Yeah. You know. You know, it's really a lot of fun when you're out to dinner when you get a, a plate that comes to you, and it's just before you eat the plate uh, or uh, things on the plate <laughs> is the way they present it. You know, they're saying with a paintbrush, the way they'll with the uh, um, the liquid over it, and the way they do it, maybe a. Uh, a different vegetable as an ornament to it. You look at it for, for you know a couple minutes. Almost you don't want to eat right away. You really want to appreciate Just look at it. what was put into this. You know? That's true. That's very true. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to take oh, some nice. artichoke hearts, and what I want to do here first is I want to pull them out. I want to drain them just a little bit. It's kind of filled with water. Okay. Just put a few down here. Just drain out. It should be good. I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil. Okay. Probably about uh, a tablespoon and a half, two tablespoons. Is that just a regular olive oil? Is it That's an extra virgin extra olive. Virgin yeah, olive. I, yeah. <clears throat> and um, this is how you open a bottle hey, of wine. Yeah. You learned it when he was in Italy. It was. Uh, That's in college. Oh, college. <laughs> Uh, I actually, it was in college because we didn't have the uh, benefits of wine. We were drinking, uh, I think, Meister Brau. Yes. You're there for <laughs> 99 for a case or something like that. What, what made you go with uh, Behringer? Um, with, you know, it was. Uh, your favorite, yours, no, or? it's just it's a inexpensive. It's not okay. very expensive. It's, okay. a, it's a decent Pinot Grigio. It's, okay. You know, it's inexpensive. Uh, I, I have a thing, though, about wine. Okay. As you probably know, yeah, I yes. love wine. But I won't put something in my food right. that I won't drink. Okay. Oh, very good. So very good. some of my friends oh, okay. will say, hey, just use an inexpensive wine. Listen, if I'm not going to drink it, why would I want to eat it? Good point. Uh, like it. Like so that's, it. Just, that's just my I've theory. I've never heard that before, and actually, the more I think about it, that's if your palate's already used to a certain wine, what you're drinking, mm -hmm. it may as well be in your food also. Makes yeah, but there's different types of wines that you, you, you cook with. Um, Depending on, on what it is, Issa knows more about that. I've I've okay. I kind of use the a, a dry white wine or table wine or something like that. Sometimes I'll make mm -hmm. uh, like linguine with white clam, like Ooh. a clam's wongoli, yes. yes, and uh, use a, a different type of wine wow. for that. Sometimes a sherry or vermouth or something wow. like that. Oh, yeah, excellent. It depends. But <clears throat> all right, so I'm going to have you do this, and while you're doing that, I'm going to run out front and grab some. Fresh basil. Fresh basil. Yeah, oh, I've got nice. some out front. So what so, we'll talk about All right, so what I'm going to have you do is you can just kind of go right down the middle like that. Mm -hmm. Turn it over like that. Go down the middle again, just okay. like that. And then just boom, 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 boom. That's it. That looks so tasty right now without the fish. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, I made a Mediterranean bruschetta mm. with just like this, yeah, but I, I added a little bit of onion to it. Mm. Just, well, you, you know, you know, right, right, this. Right, oh, yeah, so right. I made a minute. The only thing different is I had right. capers and um, the artichoke hearts, mm -hmm. and then I stuffed it in a portobello and made that. Because you know, during my fast, uh -huh. I had to go completely vegetarian. Oh, or vegan. No, what a way to go vegetarian! Right. So, <clears throat> so the funny thing is that right, right. you know, the people at Christ Fellowship say, right, right. "This is a sacrifice." I'm not so sure <laughs> I sacrificed. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see if I can do this here. Go ahead. Yeah. Like this, and then like that, and then start cutting it like this. Oh, it's pretty interesting. I like that technique. Isn't that good? So get all those artichokes like that, and then get it and throw it in like that. This is so much fun. I'm really enjoying this. This is really, really neat. And Bailey's keeping you company. Absolutely love artichoke hearts. Good. 